October 18th. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. 2 Chronicles 20, 17 In the time of Jehoshaphat, a vast army comprising of three nations came against Judah. When he heard of this, Jehoshaphat did a number of things, all of which are weapons of spiritual warfare. First, seeking the Lord. Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord. He called an assembly of the people, and they came from every town in Judah to seek the Lord. This is our primary posture in spiritual warfare, seeking Him in our weakness and dependence. Second, fasting. The whole nation was called to fast. Fasting is wonderful as an individual activity, but there is great power in corporate fasting. Many times, in the Bible as well as in church history, incredible things have happened when God's people have fasted together. Third, prayer. Jehoshaphat brought the situation before God, along with the people of Judah. He sought the Lord's help and guidance, saying, We do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Again, we see that there is power in corporate prayer. Fourth, stillness. When faced with a crisis, our reaction is usually panic and striving. Even prayer becomes difficult as we are stressed and distracted. But we need to be still before God, to wait upon Him, until He speaks or moves as He sees fit. Be still and know that I am God, the Word says. Stillness is a powerful weapon in our fight against the devil. Fifth, the Word of God. As they waited, God spoke through a prophet. It was a word of assurance as well as one of direction, and it set the stage for the victory to follow. God's Rima word, even if it is simply a verse from the Bible, is what we need to go into battle with. Sixth, praise. Jehoshaphat received God's word and his response was to worship. They marched into battle with musicians and singers at the head of the army. As Benny Johnson puts it, the people of God fought a war by worship. Their worship set in motion a shift in the heavenly realms and God did the rest. Today's Decree We will use every weapon of warfare that God has revealed to us and we will surely see the deliverance that God has given us.